first part of example one, we were able to obtain a system of inequalities. It's right here. We remind you that x was the number of cups of drink x, while y was the number of cups of drink y. The problem was pretty long. Uh, a lot of information was provided to us. And like I said, we were ready to find the system of inequalities. What we want to do next is grab the system of inequalities and find the vertices. Like I said, the bridge, this problem is a bridge between this lesson and the next lesson. In the next, next lesson, you will be given additional information. You will be told that a cup of drink X costs 12 cents and a cup of drink Y costs 15 cents. And we want to find the optimal cost. So what does that mean? It means that you want to meet all the dietary, dietary um, requirements and you want to do that at the least possible cost. But we won't have to worry about it until lesson 7.6. So let's see how we graph this. x is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0. Like I said, that means that our solution point will lie in the first quadrant. So you graph the y-axis and the x-axis solid graphs because the solution point could be on the x-axis or the y-axis. Let me remind you, this x-axis has equation y equals 0, the y-axis has equation x equals 0, and we're talking about the points that are on the axis or in the first quadrant. Let's continue with our next equation. 60x plus 60y is greater than or equal to 300. So, 60x plus 60y is greater than or equal to 300. First, we're going to divide everything by 60, make our life a lot easier. And we have x plus y is greater than or equal to 5. Subtract x from both sides. And we have y is greater than or equal to the opposite of x plus 5. Rewrite it, y is greater than or equal to negative 1 over 1x plus 5. This gives us a slope of negative 1 over 1 and a y-intercept of 0, 5. Graph it really, really carefully because we also want to find the vertices. So, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There is our point. And then, let's go uh, by minus to the right on the x-axis. From this point, go one unit to the left, uh, down and one to the right. Another unit down and one to the right. Another unit down and one to the right. And one more. And then, draw just this segment. That's all you want to draw. No more. And the region that you want to shade is the region above it. Let's move on to our second inequality. Well, actually, this is the fourth one. 12x plus 6y is greater than or equal to 36. Let's notice that all the numbers are divisible by 6. 12x plus 6y is greater than or equal to 36. I'm going to divide everything by 6. It's easier to work with smaller numbers than it is to work with bigger numbers. And we have 2x plus y is greater than or equal to 6. Subtract 2x. And y is greater than or equal to negative 2x. So you have a slope of negative 2 over 1, and we have a y-intercept of 0, 6. Let's plot those points. Again, let's plot them very carefully. So 0, 6 goes 6 up on the y-axis, and then the slope is negative 2 over 1. Go 2 down, 
one to the right, so two down, one to the left. Sorry about that. Ooh boy, I can't count. And go two down, one to the right. Let me use the red this time. This is our second equation. And this point is important to intersect here. That is the point 1, 4. And we would shade everything above this line. We have one more line to go, and then we will be done. We look at the last line, and what do we notice? Everything is divisible by 10, so we're going to divide everything by 10. See? 10x plus 30y is greater than or equal to 9. Let's divide everything by 10. x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 90. Subtract so x from both sides, 3y. No, 90, sorry about that, 90 divided by 10 is 9. 3y is equal to the opposite of x plus 9. Divide everything by 3. And we have y is greater than or equal to negative 1 third x plus 3. For the last time, the slope is negative 1 third. The y intercept is 0 comma we have all the information that we need to graph. We take another color marker, start with the y-intercept, 0, 3. From there, go 1 down, and then 1, 2, 3 to the right. And then go 1 down, and another 3 to the right. And finally, you will intersect the x-axis as 0, 9. Now, shade above this line. Here we go. So, our goal now is to figure out the vertices. Because I graphed carefully, one vertex is 1, 4. The other vertex is this point of intersection right here. And notice it is 3 to the right and 2 up. So 3, 2. Another vertex of this region is the point 9, 0. And finally, the last vertex of this region is the point 0, 6. I don't know that this drawing is a mess. Luckily, we have technology. And if you do all of this on Desmos, the graph will be clearer. So we're going to go and we're going to take a look at the Desmos graph. And look at that, a lot more beautiful than what we have. So this is what your final graph should look like. And that's the last topic for this lesson.